are back and you've been listening to the talent and musical artistry of Taylor Hughes. Polly, uh, what do you feel when you see your student doing so well? Um, well, that's a good question. I, I feel a lot of things. There's a, a, a huge range of emotions because that's the whole point of teaching is to see what your, what your students do, you know. Um, I, I think that that's, that's really the only measure of a teacher is the, the accomplishments of their students. So it's a lot of affirmation. Um, and it, students achieve such a, a wide variety of success that there's a, there's a huge range there, you know, as to, as to what they achieve. A lot of students just want to be, you know, bedroom players and never play in front of anybody else. But when you see somebody who has goals and ambitions and then you see them reach what they wanted to do and then go way beyond whatever they expected to do, that's the whole point, you know, that's, that's, that's the whole reason behind why I do what I do. So it's extremely affirming, you know, and, um, and Taylor's very easy to be proud of for, yeah. for what she's done. Yeah, I agree. And thank you for singing that. That's my favorite out of your repertoire. Oh, good. That's, that's my garden well, weeding like song, it. remember? Yeah. The garden weeding thing? Yeah. Yeah. And Whitney, <laughs> um, Taylor has been on your sh on the stage at the Twisted Cork Oh, yeah, quite a Taylor bit. and I know. We've actually written a ton together, Taylor and I. Oh, we yes, that's right. Yeah, we don't get a chance to do it uh, much anymore, but I'm a huge fan. She knows that I am. I adore her, and uh, I I'm proud of her because I have seen her grow as well. She's, uh, she's incredible. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And Grayson, you were also friends with Taylor. What yes. are your thoughts about her musical career and how it's just kind of evolved over the last, what, couple of years progressively? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's been awesome to see. I can't, I was trying to think when she was playing the first time I saw her. And I know Al's Bar was one of the first times. It was you and a guitar player. Yes. And it was awesome. Like her voice is just one that you're sitting there having a beer or talking to your friends and you just automatically look up and you're like, oh, this girl can belt it out. And she's she's got some great songwriting chops to boot and uh, glad she's make it, making the rounds in Nashville and that's a great place to be and still coming up to Lexington to visit us folks. Too. Yes, so. well, we will all have to make a journey down there to see you <laughs> yeah, in Nashville. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Road trip, right? <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> Woo. So, um, Grayson, what's new and exciting in your musical life these days? Um... Just trying to make the rounds and get in front of as, as many people as we can and um, trying to branch out a little bit and travel um, to play some new places. So um, we're on Master Musicians Festival uh, this summer, which we're really, really excited about. John Prine is headlining that. And that's one of my favorite or one of my biggest influences. Um, yeah, so just trying to get out and we're recording some new songs, some demo stuff that we're going to put out um, this year and still uh, trying to promote the last album, Cityscapes and Countrysides. So I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Taylor. What do you want people to say and also feel after they see Grace and Jenkins in concert? Okay, um, a lot of the I like a lot of the same things that Taylor said, but for me, it's uh, finding a place where um, I feel like I'm vulnerable, which is really hard to do, especially when you're thinking about everything. But being vulnerable, you're thinking about staying in the right place and making sure you're not too close to the mic and you're hitting the right guitar chords. But if you can really find that spot where you're just pouring your heart out to people. Everything else will take care of itself, and and so that's if I can get to that place every show, then I'm then I'm happy. Um, and so it's just trying to figure out what is going to get me to that place because I think people will respond to that, the people in the crowd. Wonderful. Well, do you have another one to sing for us today? Yeah, I've been thinking the whole time about what to play. Um, but I'll do a song called uh, Mockingbird. It's a new one that I co-wrote with Ryan Allen, and uh, I was sitting in a church, my church van this summer that I take camping and take for band trips and um, this mockingbird kept chirping next to the van and it, I was thinking about an, a, a past relationship and so kind of paralleled the two and so this is mockingbird. Well that's one of my favorites by the way. It's really awesome. Notice everybody has a favorite by the way with me. So let's hear from Grayson Jenkins, Mockingbird. Mockingbird talking in a tree Telling me that I let you down But it don't bear repeating Cause I can plainly see The shape that I'm in now And I don't need a letter Or a postcard or sign Cause I'm well aware that there's no hope I don't need a reminder that I missed my chance to make you mine You don't have to tell me I'll let you go Cause I already know Mockingbird 
Mockingbird, why don't you fly back to that sunny southern shore? Why do you still hang around when there's snow on the ground? I don't need you anymore. And I don't need a letter or a postcard or a sign. Cause I'm well aware that there's no hope And I don't need a reminder that I missed my chance to make you mine You don't have to tell me I'll let you go Cause I already know One of these days when your memory flies away I'll be left here in silence And I won't have to say That I don't need a letter or a postcard or a sign Cause I'm well aware that there's no hope And I don't need a reminder Miss my chance to make you mine. You don't have to tell me I'll let you go, cause I already know. I already Another gold medal performance today on Overtones. You are listening to Overtones on WLXU 93.9 FM, and we will be back after the break. Sometimes in life you make it When you take off on your 